Good morning everyone. Welcome back to GK Today. In this video, we shall cover the current affairs for 15th and 16th October 2022. So let's start. The first question is, which institution releases the Living Planet Report? The answer of this question is Worldwide Fund. According to the Living Planet Report 2022, released by Worldwide Fund for Nature, there has been a 69% decline in the wildlife populations of mammals, birds, amphibians, reptiles and fish across the globe in last 50 years. The highest decline that is 94% was seen in the Latin America and the Caribbean region. Then Africa recorded a 66% fall in its wildlife populations from 1970 to 2018. For Asia Pacific, this decline was 55%. This report identifies six key threats to biodiversity, which are agriculture, hunting, logging, pollution, invasive species, and climate change. Regarding India, the report has also highlighted that around 137 square kilometers of the Sundarbans mangrove forest in India and Bangladesh has eroded since 1985. This has reduced the land and ecosystem services for many of the 10 million people who live there. Now before moving ahead, let me take one supplementary question for those who are preparing for UPSC. The question is, which of the below is or are correct observations about World Wildlife Fund? The first statement is, it is one of the agencies of United Nations. Second is, it is world's largest conservation organization. And the third statement is, it released world's first wildlife conservation bond in 2022. Now please pause this video and see if you are able to correctly answer this question. Now let me discuss. The first statement is not correct because WWF is not an agency of the United Nations, rather it is an international NGO. Two terms you should understand. The first is intergovernmental organization that is IGO. And second is International Non-Government Organization that is INGO. Now IGOs are those which are set up by the collaboration of various countries. The examples of IGOs are United Nations, International Labour Organization, International Telecommunication Organization, etc. The essential part of an IGO is a treaty among various sovereign states. On the other hand, INGOs are internationally operating organizations which are not established by any intergovernmental agreement, treaty or some other kind of arrangement. Now World Wildlife Fund is basically an international NGO or INGO. The second statement is correct because WWF is world's largest conservation organization. But please remember it is not world's largest NGO. It is world's largest NGO in terms of wildlife conservation only. However, world's largest NGO is BRAC or Bangladesh Rural Advancement Committee. This NGO is based in Bangladesh. So world's largest NGO is a Bangladesh based NGO which is known as Bangladesh Rural Advancement Committee. Coming to the last statement of this question. World's first wildlife conservation board or WCB was released by World Bank in 2022. So this statement is wrong. So in this question, only two is the correct answer. Moving to the next question, which state is the topper in logistics index in Leeds 2022 report? The correct answer of this question is Andhra Pradesh. Leeds stands for logistics as across different states. This report ranks the state and union territories of India on the basis of efficiency of logistical services necessary for promoting exports and economic growth. The report classifies all the states and union territories of India into three categories, achievers, fast movers and aspires. Achievers are the best performing states which have done substantial improvement in age of logistics. In the 2022 report, Andhra Pradesh, Assam and Gujarat are among the 15 states and UTs categorized as achievers. Now moving to the next question, 
Pitt Island, where hundreds of pilot whales were stranded dead, is located in which country? The correct answer of this question is New Zealand. Now, Pitt Island is a part of Chatham Archipelago, which is located some 800 kilometers away from New Zealand in Pacific Ocean. It was making news as a pod of 240 pilot whales lost their lives after being stranded. You must have read in newspapers every now and then about the beaching of whales or stranding of whales. What happens is that whales are unable to go back to the water after accidentally coming to the beach with waves or some other reason. Because of some reasons such as sunburn due to their own heavy weight or dehydration, they die on the beach itself. This is called beaching of the whales. The technical term for beaching of whales is cetacean stranding. Now what is cetacean stranding? Now before I briefly explain cetacean stranding, let me ask you one more UPSC prelims question. The question is, which among the following is or are mammals? The options given are whale, dolphin and porpoise. Now please pause this video again and check if you are able to identify the mammals from these three animals. The correct answer is 1, 2 and 3. That means whales, dolphin and porpoises all are members of class mammalia and they are placed in an infra order that is called cetacea. The cetacean stranding is the beaching of the stranding of these animals on beaches due to their fully aquatic lifestyle, the streamlined body shape, generally large size and exclusively carnivorous diet. Moving to the next question, India's first sanctuary for endangered slender loris is to be set up in which state or union territory? The correct answer is Tamil Nadu. India's first ever sanctuary for slender loris will be set up in Tamil Nadu. For this, a slender loris sanctuary will be established at Kadavur region by taking land from Karur and Dindigul districts. Talking about taxonomical position of loris, they belong to class mammalia and older primates. Both lemurs and lorises belong to one infra order that is called strepsirhines, that means wet nosed animals. So, taxonomically, lemurs and lorises are in the same infra order, but there is a huge difference in their geographical distribution. Please note that most of the world's lorises are found in tropical and woodland forests of India, Sri Lanka and some other parts of Southeast Asia. However, lemurs are found naturally in Madagascar only. So this is an important point that you should note. Now talking about lorises, there are three main species of them including the slender loris, slow loris and pygmy slow loris. Slender lorises are native to India and Sri Lanka. These are nocturnal arboreal animals and so spend most of their life on the trees, traveling along the tops of the branches with their slow and precise movements. They feed on insects, reptiles, plant shoots and fruits. In the IUCN red list, slender loris is listed as endangered species. A minor fact that you can remember also is that while slender loris is found in South India, slow loris is found in Eastern Himalaya or India's Northeast states. Moving to the next question, Druzhba oil pipeline which was seen in the news delivers oil from which country? The correct answer is Russia. Druzhba means friendship. Druzhba pipeline or friendship pipeline is one of the longest oil pipelines of the world. It transports oil from eastern part of Russia to several countries in Europe such as Ukraine, Belarus, Poland, Hungary, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Austria and Germany. It was recently in news because there was a leak in the pipeline in Poland. This pipeline was used for transporting oil to Germany. Now if we talk about pipeline transport, it is one of the cheapest mode of transport of liquid or gas. Transportation is done through a system of pipes and it is used to supply gas or petroleum to at least 120 countries of the world as of now. There may be a question, which country has largest network of oil and gas pipelines? The correct answer of this question would be United States that has 65% share in the global pipelines, 
on the second and third position are russia and canada russia has just 8% share in the total pipelines and canada has 3% share now let us move to the next question which country was the host of ipsamar multinational maritime exercise in 2022 ipsamar basically is a series of naval exercise between the navies of india brazil and south africa now the next question is who is the head of parliamentary committee on official languages the correct answer of this question is amit shah recently the report of official language committee headed by home minister amit shah was submitted to the president draupadi murmu the report is not yet made public but as per the newspapers it has recommended that india's scheduled languages including hindi should get a priority in the public offices higher education or institutions such as iits and iims and in local courts there was an opposition of this particular report by south indian states which say that basically such a policy would be an attempt by the union government to impose hindi on non hindi speaking states now regarding hindi we note that english was only language used for official purpose in british india in independent india it was declared in article 3431 that hindi will be the official union language it was also mentioned that over a period of 15 years since the commencement of the indian constitution hindi will replace english as official language however parliament can decide whether to use english as an official language or not but due to this the non hindi speaking states and communities across the country started protesting and this protest resulted in the enactment of official languages act 1963 according to this act hindi in devanagari script is the official language of union however english may also be used for official purposes even after 1965 english was given the status of subsidiary official language of india it was decided that either hindi or english can be used for procedures of parliament now as of today both english and hindi serve as official language of the union of india but india has not declared any language as national language so hindi is not our national language that we should know since india is a country with diverse languages major languages were also listed in the 8th schedule to the constitution we note here that originally there were 14 languages in the 8th schedule after addition of some other languages there are total 22 scheduled languages in the 8th schedule of constitution now before moving ahead let me take one more question in context with the provisions regarding official languages of states of india which of the following is or are correct observations now there are two observations here the first is states are mandated to declare at least one language from eighth schedule of the constitution as their official language so you have to decide whether this is a correct statement or not second is both hindi and english are listed in the eighth schedule of the constitution now in this question both the statements are not correct in the constitution of india there is a provision made for each of the indian states to choose their own official language for communicating at the state level however constitution does not specify the official language to be used by the states for the conduct of their official functions and the constitution leaves each state free to adopt any language used in its territory as its official language or languages that means the language need not to be listed in the eighth schedule and there are several states which have adopted official languages which are not so listed for example kokborok in tripura mizo in mizoram khasi garo in jaintia in meghalaya and french in puducherry these all are their official languages but they are not in the eighth schedule of the constitution now the second statement is also incorrect because hindi is there in the eighth schedule but english is not there so that you should remember now moving to the next question sendai framework which was seen in news is associated with which field 
the correct answer of this question is disaster risk reduction the sendai framework for disaster risk reduction 2015 to 2030 includes concrete actions to protect development gains from the risk of disaster it was recently in news as october 13 is observed as international day for disaster risk reduction the theme of international day for disaster risk reduction 2022 was early warning for all now what is sendai sendai is basically a city in japan in 2015 the world conference on disaster risk reduction was hosted by sendai in this particular conference the earlier hyogo framework for action that was for 2005 to 2015 period and also an international arrangement on disaster risk reduction that was replaced by sendai framework now moving to the next question what is the minimum capacity of data centers above which they are accorded the infrastructure status the correct answer of this question is 5 megawatt recently the government has accorded infrastructure status to the data centers with more than 5 megawatt capacity of it load this will allow these data centers to get easier access to institutional credit at lower rates and attract foreign investments also now what do you mean by infrastructure status infrastructure status is basically given by the government and that means that such data centers will be included in the items mentioned in the harmonized master list of infrastructure subsectors by the government please note that harmonized master list of infrastructure subsectors is issued by the department of economic affairs by notification it has several subsectors grouped into five major categories which are transport and logistics energy water and sanitation communication and social and commercial infrastructure so any subsector so any sector or any activity which is listed in the harmonized master list of infrastructure subsectors that is basically the one which has been officially given infrastructure status by the government of india now coming to the next question which institution has topped the times higher education world university rankings 2023 so according to the times higher education world university rankings the global first rank has been given to university of oxford and in india the first rank is of iisc bangalore coming to the next question himcad scheme which was implemented in himachal pradesh is associated with which field so the correct answer of this question would be irrigation the himachal pradesh state government has started a new scheme that is known as himcad the basic idea behind this scheme is to bridge the gap between irrigation potential created and irrigation potential to be utilized now in this name himcad him stands for himachal pradesh and cad stands for command area development now what is command area the command area refers to the area adjacent to any dam or any water irrigation project which can get the benefits from the water available in the storage in that particular project in terms of irrigation all the area which is able to get water for irrigation from a particular irrigation scheme is known as command area for example before construction of a new canal the engineers create its design maps and they roughly chalk out the entire area within an imaginary imaginary line that can be included in that particular irrigation project this is known as gross command area so gross command area is the total area covering both the cultivable lands as well as barren land forest houses wastelands roads etc now the second term is cultivable command area is that part of the gross command area that is fit for cultivation of the crops so the cultivable area excludes forests and barren land from the gross command area next question is by which year the fleet of vehicles of indian railways would be replaced by electric vehicles the correct answer of this question is 2025 the railways has floated a policy under which it plans to replace its entire fleet of vehicles that run on diesels biofuels or natural gas with electric vehicles by december 2025 india has set an ambitious plan to make india a 100% electric vehicle nation by 2030 under the railways policy 
a vast charging infrastructure would be created at major railway stations office buildings and parking lots so that was all for the day we will meet tomorrow with new set of questions thanks everyone